Sometimes it's on and sometimes it's not. But how do you know which? By the time we're done here, we will look at the global and interface specific configuration parameters for CDP and LLDP. And I'm done. I'm done trying to tell you which one of these protocols are going to be running by default because as time goes on and the years turn to turn to the months, you know how that works, right? Um, the, the standards will change. For instance, CDP used to be all there was. So on older devices, CDP would be on by default. Then someone said, well, that's not really the most secure. So Cisco started making it off by default. And then LLDP came out and they're like, well, which one of these do we turn on by default and not have by default? Regardless, you need to approach LLDP and CDP with some strategy because your network is connecting to all kinds of things. It's connecting to other switches, to routers, to wireless access points, but also to, to user devices, to phones, to, to the internet. And you don't want to have these protocols which actually broadcast information about the devices out to whoever wants to listen running on all the interfaces. So what I want to show you is how you can tune these protocols, how you can turn them on and off uh, on either a global level or a per interface level. And we'll actually see a little bit more about them as we do this. So first off, I'm just going to log in. I just, I'm plugged into a switch two in Arizona because that just happens to be the last device I was plugged into. You can find out information about either protocol by typing in show CDP and I'm, I'll hit the question mark. You can see right there, you know, a specific entry in the CDP table, uh, interface information, what neighbors we've got, traffic or just do you want kind of the global CDP stuff? So if I press enter, you're going to find out, hey, this switch is actually running CDP. It's sending messages once every 60 seconds. It has a hold time of 180 seconds. By the way, if, if hold time, that phrase is new to you, that's how long does it hold on to something's information when it stops hearing from the device. Most of the time you hear about it in routing protocols. Like if a router goes down, I'll maintain those routes for a certain amount of time and then I'll remove them. So in the case of CDP, I'll do a show CDP neighbors, which shows all the neighbors that I'm, I'm seeing from my device. And I can see four different neighbors. If one of them stopped responding, then it would hold their information for 180 seconds before it would it, it remove them from the, from the table, right? So. Um, so CDP, so I, this is a, a basic configuration on this device, right? I didn't do anything special. So out of the box, it's running CDP. And we find that out by just typing in show CDP neighbors. Now, if I go to uh, LLDP, I do show LLDP and I'll hit question mark and you can see same exact commands. Well, maybe a, a few more there that I've got. And I type in show LLDP neighbors. I find out, oh, well, LLDP is not enabled on this device. So, so it's different based on the type of device, based on when it was manufactured, based on the iOS version it's running, you may see LLDP on by default or CDP on by default or neither on by default. It's, it's really varied through, through the years of iOS versions. So if I wanted to turn on LLDP, I would go into global configuration mode and type in LLDP, and let me just hit question mark because there's a few commands you can, you can do. The global command is run. So let me, let me just type that in so we can have it running behind the scenes. Um, so I type LLDP run, but I also see I can modify the hold time. I can modify how long it takes before it actually starts sending advertisements out. I can say how often I wanna send advertisements out. And with LLDP, this is, this is cool. Um, LLDP actually has more features than CDP, but with LLDP, I can tell it which TLVs. Remember, I, I mentioned that in the previous video, type length value. That's what information does CD, uh, CDP, LLDP send? Is it going to send the iOS version? You can control that. Is it going to negotiate power? You can control that because each one of those is a TLV. Check this out. I'll hit the question mark. It's like, well, do you want to send, you know, the system name? Do you want to send a management address? Do you, know, do you want to send the capabilities? You know, these are all different TLVs. And as it expands, the iOS gets updates and you can, you can add more TLVs on there, right? Now, if I come back here and type in show LLDP neighbors, hit the enter key, uh, I'm not seeing anything. Now, this device is connected to other devices. 
Why do you think that is? Why do, why do you think LLDP is not seeing any neighbors? Well, remember, the way LLDP works is it sends advertisements and receives advertisements, right? So I turned on LLDP on this, this switch, which is, let's just say, sitting right here. It's connected to other things who are now receiving LLDP updates, but they are not sending anything back. So this switch is like, I'm all by myself. That was a terrible rendition of that, that song. It doesn't see anything that's out there. Now, all these other devices are running CDP by default, so those are being received. But you see what I mean? LLDP or CDP, whichever one you decide to use, and they have different purposes, um, need to be enabled on all the devices or none at all. Or maybe the devices that you want to be discovered or maybe the ones that you want to hide. That's, that's, it's your choice. So you can enable it either globally or you can enable it, enable it on a per interface basis. For example, I, I kind of drew this little diagram behind the scenes. Uh, you know, this network engineer kind of magnifying glass on binary. It's, it's supposed to be him discovering the network. Maybe behind the scenes, I have this, this router right here that's connected to a WAN. I know you can't quite see it back there. It's, it's kind of shadowy. But it's connected to a WAN that maybe has other companies that I, I don't want them to see my router it connected to that well what i can do is maybe i want to run lldp for its features i want to run cdp for its features and, and again it's it's going to be varied you know some devices some uh, i'll say some old devices that cisco produces uh communicates using cdp and nothing else um that'd be a really old device probably probably won't use that anymore most everything uses lldp so what i can do is i can go in and i can turn on lldp globally and and, and i'll let me actually let me do this i'm going to take my console cable and move it over from switch two up to switch one. Because I want to enable LLDP on two different devices so that we're able to see some entries showing up in LLDP. So let's log in here, switch one, go into global config and I'll type in LLDP run, which runs it on the device as a whole, right? Um, so I'll, I'll bail out and I'll type in show LLDP neighbors it hasn't yet received an update. Remember, those updates are sent once every 60 seconds, so we'll give it some time. <laughs> well, I've got reminders popping up. Uh, we'll give it some time to, uh, to receive the updates from, from switch number two so it can show up in the table. But meanwhile, let's just say, we'll do a show IP interface brief. Let's say that I've got you know these interfaces which are connected to my internal network that's safe. This one is not. So I want to run LLDP or I want to run CDP. It's the same thing but I only want to run it on specific interfaces. Well, I can go under the interface. We'll do fast ethernet two slash zero slash three. And I can type in no LLDP receive or no LLDP transmit. Again, LLDP gives you a little more control. Look at CDP. If I type in CDP, I just have enable. So it's either on or it's off. Whereas with LLDP, you might be like a you know, a fly on the wall, if you will. I, I want to be able to receive. I want to see what devices are connected on this interface, but I don't want to transmit because I don't want other people to see me, right? You can do that if that's what you'd like to do. So I'm going to do a show LLDP neighbors. Uh, we should have had a, enough time. And you can see that switch too. There you go. It's, it's now showing up with each one of those. If you want to see more info about that device, I can do show LLDP neighbors detail. And that's where you can see, oh, that's the MAC address of that device. That's the port. That's the name of the device. There's the IP address. You see all this? These are all the TLVs. This is a chunk of TLV. That's one train car. This is a chunk of TLV. That's another train car. This, so all of these different things are TLVs that are added to that, that little train. Show CDP neighbors gives the same style of things. Uh, when you look at the show CDP neighbors detail, same style of things. It's, 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 I'm like, same, same, same. Cisco and the industry, the industry really caught up to Cisco. So they just kind of mirrored what they were doing. So which is better to run, CDP or LLDP? Totally your call and totally your comfort in whatever that environment is. But most of the time in our today's evolving world, you'll start configuring all of your devices to use LLDP. So at this point, we have looked at the global and interface-specific configuration parameters for CDP and LLDP. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.